Anguilla is an island in the Lesser Antilles, in the Caribbean. It's the most northerly of the Leeward Islands. It's 26 kilometers long and five kilometers wide, and home to a population of approximately 13,500 people. Anguilla is a flat island of raised coral and limestone. The main island is surrounded by several smaller islands and keys, the largest being Scrub Island and Dog Island. The thin coral soils support a diverse scrub that's home to wild frangipanis with exquisite flowers, air plants that grow as epiphytes, and tall cacti adapted to the seasonally dry conditions and armed with fearsome spines to defend the water stored in their succulent stems. In the east of the island, conditions are even drier and the landscape is home to natural gardens of Turk's cap cacti, so-called because the woolly top of the cacti that develops when flowering is said to resemble the fez hat of Turkey. The cacti's flowers and brilliant pink succulent fruit emerge from the mass of wool. The groups of cacti form spectacular clumps that may be decades old. Set in this landscape, salt ponds are a beacon for wildlife to feed, nest and raise their young. Birds migrate to this oasis to wade in search of prey and to nest in the trees surrounding the salt ponds. Dragonflies and spiders also abound. The salt ponds are an unlikely oasis for life here. For such a flat island with no mountains or large promontories, Anguilla has a surprising secret. The limestone bedrock of the island is riddled with caves and vast chambers that form a secret underground world. The caves here form networks of passages that can be many kilometers long. The ceilings of the caves are home to bat colonies. The island is home to at least five species of bats, some of which act as pollinators and are ecologically very important. On the cave floors, land hermit crabs live in the darkness and scavenge the waste and droppings from the bats. But the bats and hermit crabs were not alone in finding these cave systems. These caves also bear the hand of man. Dozens of ancient Amerindian carvings have been found in this one cave. And this is just one of 42 Amerindian sites known on the island. The Amerindians knew Anguilla as Maliahuana. Some of the caves were used for ceremonies and for worshipping deities. Many of the carvings represent spirit eyes. Others are more abstract. The rock carvings are not the only evidence the Amerindians left behind. Red-footed tortoises. These animals were brought by Amerindians and introduced across much of the Caribbean as a food source. The ancestors of these tortoises were originally carried from South America on the Amerindians' canoes, and the population introduced here has since flourished. In more recent times, European settlement introduced rats and mice to Anguilla and many of her surrounding islands. But here on Dog Island, a major rodent eradication effort has taken place, and in 2014, the island was declared rat-free. Seabirds did exist with the rats, but in depressed numbers. Now that the rats are gone, it's hoped that the seabird numbers will increase dramatically. Already, Dog Island is home to hundreds of thousands of birds, including hundreds of magnificent frigate birds, masked boobies, brown boobies, bridal terns, brown noddies, and many other species. This conservation success really matters because this enormous concentration of seabirds migrates across the entire hemisphere. So protecting these small islands 
as nesting hotspots is of global importance. Anguilla's offshore islands are refuges not just for birds. This is Little Scrub Island. It's less than half a kilometre in size. But is home to the Little Scrub Island ground lizard, which occurs nowhere else on Earth. And the territory is also home to a unique plant, Rondelicia anguilensis, and several other taxa that occur only here and on islands nearby. Anguilla's islands are also important nesting sites for three species of turtles, including leatherbacks, the largest of all sea turtles, which come here to lay their eggs and breed. The long-term management of Anguilla's islands has allowed native wildlife to flourish once more. And the future here looks bright. Anguilla has certainly changed a lot since the Amerindians lived here. But because the coralline bedrock supports thin soils, the island has not been dominated by agriculture. As a result, much of the island remains in a wild state, offering a unique opportunity to save this habitat as a resource for the future. This would secure Anguilla as one of the best eco-tourist destinations in the entire Caribbean. The Britain's Treasure Islands book explores the unique wildlife, cultures and history of all of the UK overseas territories. Visit britainstreasureislands.com for details. In sincere thanks to Lord Ashcroft for funding the donation of one copy of the Britain's Treasure Islands book to every secondary school across the UK and her overseas territories. Thanks also to all Kickstarter backers and all sponsors and partners for making the 40 mini-documentaries possible.